Have you thought about creating meal plans for your restaurant, like meal kits? You know that it's a well-known concept, especially if you're familiar with HelloFresh or Blue Apron. And yes, there are multi-billion dollar companies. And as I'm recording this, we're going through the pandemic and I'm, I've seen a lot of restaurants at this time coming up with new solutions, serving their customers in new ways in creating meal kits. And we are going to be talking about today, how are you going to craft a successful uh, meal kit promotion? One of the things that you know is that it doesn't matter what we come up with, whether it's like a new dish, a new campaign just the way we sell it is incredibly important the way we promote whatever you come up with whether it's a new dish or whatever you know what i mean so just coming up with a meal kit and talking about operations is not good enough we need to figure out how we're going to make this a success and today i'm going to share with you four operational tips to consider to make this a success as well as about eight different ways you can go about promoting it if you don't know who i am and if this is our first time well my name is hangam and my husband and i we own a couple of restaurants in the San Antonio area and this is making go show every week I come to you with different tips different ways that we ourselves are trying to obsess about making dough in this business and I share with you tips so if this is your first time consider subscribing so you do not miss a show and uh, click that bell button if you're watching on YouTube so you don't miss a show okay let's talk about um, a few numbers. So uh, last week of March, we had multiple customers asking us, why don't we come up with some pizza kits that they will be all over it for their children. They would definitely want to purchase it. So we we're like, all right, so what can we do? So I looked around and I was like, okay, when it comes to meal kits, particularly pizza kits, I saw there were different people doing things differently. A lot of times as restaurant owners in this business, we're focused on increasing the average ticket. And so I saw a lot of restaurants are doing, hey, if you get a 16 inch pizza kit, uh, with the toppings and the stuff, how much it would be fifteen, twenty dollars. And what I thought to do, and which we ended up doing, is we created a ten inch pizza kit. And I'm going to share with you. We ended up pricing it at five dollars. And how we made it still profitable, where we get people to come in and order multiple of those as many as 20 and we even have an order for a local church for 120 pizza kits coming up um, this weekend so in the month of april i want to share you some hard numbers in the month of april i looked up in the last 13 days we have sold 409 kits and that generated 2556 dollars considering folks get toppings so five dollars for the cheese kit dough sauce cheese and yeah dough sauce cheese as well as uh, any toppings is a dollar extra that folks get to get. So let's talk about operational side of this. So if you're thinking about what's going to take for us to come up with a meal kit, I'd like you to observe your menu and th choose an item or a menu offering that you have that is popular. So folks like it. One, that is popular. Second, it's not too hard to execute at home. If it's a lobster with a steak and this, and if it's too complex to execute, then you need, then people won't enjoy it as much just because they may screw up and it will not come out very good and they feel like they wasted their money. So you need to be mindful of that. Somewhere in between is where your thing is because you need to be mindful ultimately why people are buying this meal kit is because they are bored at home. They want to do something with their family at home. They want to make memories, which is deep ultimate desire of every parent. We've had folks buy meal kits that are couples that are maybe in their 50s, in their empty nesters, and they just want to have a date night. They're making pizzas at home. You know what I mean? So these should give you ideas how we're going about promoting this simple pizza kit to couples that are empty nesters, to families with young kids. So the language and the way we promote changes as well as we do this so these are things to consider first again put yourself in your customers shoes to choose a good offering for them the other thing is you want to consider is the cost you always i don't know what you guys go with but consider the packaging so for example for us if we put everything in a in a pizza box it would be more expensive because a pizza box could be 50 cents 70 cents depending on you know branded boxes if you guys use that so consider the packaging which adds adds to the cost so i really consider what's going to be the cheapest and still presentable way for us to present this package to our customers so that's something to consider especially you want to calculate the cost considering all the little uh two ounce cups of this or that whatever you're including in that thing the cost and consider if that's 25 percent what should be the price so that's kind of where we're going with 
Now, the third tip we want to talk about how you price this package. As I mentioned, you know, we went with five dollars for the cheese thing because I wanted for people to be a no-brainer if they were going to get a pizza kit it is going to be our restaurant right because it's a no-brainer for them oh that's a great deal but one 10 inch serves one person so if it's a family of four they're going to purchase four kits right so remember that i'm going to go over the way you price things it's more about the perceived value whenever the perceived value exceeds the price you're charging customers are willing to pay this is a well-known concept in sales actually so let's talk about it so for example I'm working with a wonderful breakfast restaurant out of Boston and crafting some deals for them for their text message marketing I don't know if you know that we also do that for many restaurants if you need help with text message marketing I'd be happy to help you out for example they have this deal that is four breakfast sandwiches and four drinks for forty dollars so me as a parent I'm thinking okay if I were to feed my family it's gonna be forty bucks right versus if the offer which is the same dollar amount if it was crafted like enjoy a delicious breakfast sandwich and a drink for ten dollars right so for a person be like oh ten dollars a person I understand that that's kind of legit that's within the range right so ten dollars versus forty forty is a much bigger dollar amount for a person to be like yeah I mean I want to spend forty bucks does that make sense at this time with my family I'm not sure if I want to spend forty bucks so when you're promoting that package of getting four sandwiches or four drinks forty dollars um, so let's compare this one right a 10 inch pizza kit or pepperoni pizza kit at six dollars oh that's cheap six bucks for a thing right versus a 16 inch pepperoni kit would be like sixteen dollars so a customer's thinking okay six dollars if I got one kit versus if I got a 16 inch which serves three to four people that's sixteen dollars of what I'm asking customers to spend what happens at the end they're going to maybe buy four of those kits and the four of those kits times six dollars is twenty four dollars they're actually going to be spending twenty four dollars buying four kits versus buying one 16 inch for sixteen dollars do you know what I mean if I were to serve the one 16 inch twenty four dollars that's a whole lot more money because it's all about perception that a customer has per person how much am I spending six or seven dollars per person is not much when you go to chick-fil-a when you go to McDonald's they cuff over 10 bucks very easily for a meal packaging that people get right if you think about it that way the pricing the way you price it and the way you sell it is going to determine how successful your promotion is going to be friend last operational tips that I have for you is that if it would pass the Friday 6 p.m. test always when you come up with anything new and that's why customers come up and give you suggestions sometimes they're like oh why don't you all do this why don't you all do that and we always have to think it will not pass the Friday 6 p.m. test when we have a ticket from here to here execution of something that is simple so with these pizza kits what we do is that we made it simple so it's a cheese kit and if people want any add, add any toppings they can right so what we do is we prepare 10 20 30 of them before five o'clock and we keep them in the fridge whenever an order comes in for it we get it out and we just add the topping and it's ready to go so make sure operationally it is not too complicated to execute on this so now that we have hopefully some good ideas of what to choose and how to price it and how to you know consider the cost and all of that let's talk about promotion which is kind of my favorite part about promoting this thing so the first thing you want to do actually I do have a free PDF for you I will link it somewhere around for you to download if you would like which is 10 steps to making any uh, restaurant promotion a success and that is getting as many eyeballs from different channels and vehicles and wherever opportunities we have that I'm going to share with you today to get as many exp as much exposure about this deal so first you need to be thinking about the creatives what's going to be the creative to sell this kit uh, and this time we're talking about for example uh, you need to capture photos and videos in your restaurant or at home these meal kits I did some actually at home because I wanted to show people hey I said welcome to our home you know we're restaurant owners here in the community obviously so we're like hey welcome down our home and I'm gonna show you how we make this pizza kit here at home or whatever thing it is and I shared with them step by step how to do it simplifying the process I'm not trying to show them my pizza making skills I'm not trying to hey toss it in this way and but this is not about that I want that it's not about us it's about them remember that because I've seen some 
videos of uh, restaurants going about overboard and training people how to use the kit. But so consider that you want it to be fun, keep it simple, explain the details. So one of the things that we did is that it's the same pizza kit and I'm trying to promote it in different ways. So here's what we did. I was like, all right, folks can make a 10 inch pizza out of this meal kit. They can also make other things. All right, what? For example, they can make a calzone at home. They can make pizza rolls at home. So we created multiple videos, not just one, that we made in-house. I edited them on iMovie. I've edited videos on Windows Movie Maker, which both are free whether you use Windows or Mac. Okay, so there are ways to do that. And if you have more questions, I'd be happy to answer those as well. I have some of the links of the videos that we created so you can check it out as well just to get inspired. But um, again, so this is what we did. I created a video how to make the pizza kit at home. I showed them how to, another video I did how to turn their pizza kit into a calzone. I showed another video how to make it, the turn the pizza kit into pizza rolls. Um, and I showed them another video how to uh, make garlic knots uh, out of the dough, how to turn the dough into our Zeppeli donuts. We serve at the restaurant garlic nuggets, just trying to show different ways. I'm marketing this package in different ways to people. People are like, oh, wow, I can make a calzone at home, right? And once they create it, they're just so proud of taking pictures of it, sharing it on social, tagging your restaurant. Do you know what I'm saying? So be and tell good stories that you want to make it exciting for them that they want to try it at home and um, all of that. You can also create some giveaways if you would like. So these are all the places that we have been able to share these videos and these photos that you, you should do to get as many eyeballs. One, uh, Facebook and Instagram, of course. Thank you very much. Second thing, and I hammer this on the show all the time, Facebook groups. We have multiple very active Facebook groups in our community. So we have one that has 24,000 people active I mean not everybody's active of course but it, the group is very active every time that there's a thing there's like a hundred comments under it right so we've had customers share those videos from our page there because it's not just a deal do you know what I mean if it's just if you just go over a lot of us are promoting a lot of discounts and and we do that also for our restaurants of course but you can't just do discount 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 you're devaluing your brand a little bit so you want to also have discounts and focus on experiences that you're able to provide for your customers so Facebook groups uh, we share these videos there on your website above the fold when someone comes in they should be able to order it on, on your online ordering and there should be the video and also all about it from your website in store for wall do you have a signage by your registers or all of that the fifth way is upselling it and or your servers suggesting it right on the register hey did you know that we're we're serving meal kits or did you know that we're serving pizza kits or, oh well really well tell me about it. oh they're actually this much and it's a lot of fun blah 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 it involves this and this would you like to try that today they're like no not today okay well fantastic next time just you know we have a bunch of videos on our social on how to turn them into this turn them into that you know what I mean you you tell those stories the sixth way, of course, is text message marketing. You hear me that on the show all the time uh, because 98% of people that you send that text message to of your customers are going to see that text within five minutes. Text message marketing works because people check their texts, right? How many unread texts do you have versus how many un unread emails do you have now? If you do email marketing, you can also include um, a link to the video that you have on social as well as about your pizza kit on your email marketing. Um, be sure to also include them on Google Post. Google Post is free. And if you have done that before, I have to come up, come up with a tutorial to share all about it once here. But you can go and create, it's like a blog post, but it's within Google. And when com people come and check your website or they come and search for you, it's really prominent. They can see that as an update or whatever Google has made it. Thank you, Google, trying to provide something free around here for a business owner. So take advantage of that. Those are eight places you can be posting and promoting this meal kit that you're doing. And I didn't even mention Facebook ads just yet. We personally, we spent $50 on the Facebook, uh, on the video that I created on each of them. Each of them comes out every week and I spend $50 every week and we got about 15,000 views or reach or kind of a thing on those videos. And the reason I did that, and obviously we sold 400 of them, but 
the reason I did that is because I'm trying to build our brand, continue to build our brand during this pandemic. And I'm not trying to lead with discounts. I'm trying to lead with experiences that we're able to provide for the community. So remember that. So there may be people who see those videos that are not even our customers. They're like, who are these people? Where are they, you know, where are they at? Or who is this? Where's this from? Right? Do you know what I mean? Because they want that experience. Um, everybody wants, because everybody's bored at home. You know that, right? So, um, Ninja tip, try to get bulk orders. We've had teachers order from us. They would, you know, drop homeworks um, or kids come out to pick up homeworks or whatever thing it is. Teachers were dropping those out. We had like 20 orders of those or 30 orders of those. And we're, again, as I mentioned, we're working with some local churches. They want to provide those uh, pizza kits, you know, 120 of them. They, one of them is going to order like 300 of them, right, because they're individual that we can pass out. And they're easy to execute. They're not going to get cold right when you have that many meals that you're going to pass out so question of the day do you currently offer any meal kits have you thought about it what is on your mind i would love to know about what are you going to be doing about meal kits for your restaurant especially during pandemic and even beyond let's go beat that blue apron and whoever these people are right that are taking business from us um Anyways, well, that, that's what I mean, that I'm actually, I mean that, and I believe what I said. So we as restaurants, we need to be going against these guys because we can provide those meal kits, and we, some of us who offer delivery, we can deliver them immediately versus those blue aprons and HelloFresh that you need to deliver in the package, and it comes in dry ice and things like that. So think about that. How can you add uh, meal plans? It is incredibly effective it's currently working for our restaurants if you need help with anything that i mentioned today please reach out to me my email is team at making show.com i'm going to include that somewhere in the description if there is any way i can be of help please reach out i'll be happy to be of help and hear about what it is that you're doing that is working right now in your restaurant and with that let's get back to work and make some dough thank you very much bye